In this video, I will show you how to export trades from Option Net Explorer and re-import them into the same software using only Option Net Explorer and Excel. The first thing I want to do is to choose the trades I want to export. I go to the Reports tab and, for example, I'd like to export the trades that are in my import demo account. So I can choose, for example, only my account. Otherwise, all the trades that are shown here will be exported. So I'd like to choose the import demo and I'd like to choose, for example, the trade names that uh, I'd like to make a custom filter. Choose, uh, for example, the trades that begins with JBL and uh, I like also the trades that begin with A14 or and close this. Now I'd like to have only the trades that are in 2022. So I'll choose uh, the open date. Uh, for example, all I remove the 2021. So these are the trades that will be exported in my export file. After you have chosen the columns that you want to export, you have to choose the, the right report type. So you, you cannot use the summary report. You need to choose detail. You want to have all the transaction in your, in your report. The margin is not uh, so important because it is only for the display in this, uh, in, in the report tab. Uh, it's and also for the include mar margin of right and include commission, it's only to display the the PNL and the PNL percentage in the in this tab. So it doesn't matter. But the 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 thing that is very important is that uh, that you choose detail report. So these are the three trays I want to export. I export them in export a trades that CSV. If I'm going to Excel now, I will open the, the file I've just exported. Export your trade. So browse just to be sure. Export a trade.csv. Open the file. Now I have a wizard. I have to choose delimited. Next, the comma is the separator. And uh, next, uh, you have to be sure that the decimal separator is uh, is that because um, maybe it's my region, but uh, there's a dot in the file that I've just exported from uh, Option Net Explorer. So that's it. Finish. This is my exported file in CSV. Just to show you. Uh, if you want to be sure, all the columns must be uh, uh, valid to form a demonstration. For example, if you want to be sure that, that the date is uh, exported as a date in Excel, you could make equal this plus one. And this will give you the next day, as you can see, the next day uh, of the file. So that my my dates are valid my and my text column must be in the no, in number format you can do the same thing as i did uh, but normally when it's right aligned it's a, a it's a number equal this plus one as you can see it it is a number so i remove this so the the these two columns are not so important because I don't use them for the import file that I will build. Also, the only important rows are the detail rows. The header rows are not important to calculate uh, the trace that I want to import. What I want to do is to use a template that I've uh, built with uh, Excel. I will open this template to show you 
one export template that XLS. And in this template, I have uh, two uh, uh, parts. On the left side, you have the same file that you that that we are we have just built the export uh, trade that CSV. And on the right side, uh, there is the the interactive broker query format that you want, we want to build. So I will take the the first uh, row of this file and bring it to our our exported trade that's that CSV. So if I paste the value, I've just I just separate uh, the column just to, to to make a separation. And here's all we have to build the the right side. As I said, this is the interactive broker uh, flex query format. So you have to to build the column the same way they, they, they are here. For example, and uh, in this format, every field and every header must be between uh, double quotes. So I, I've uh, only uh, build the, the, the header. Uh, you have to build the header and with double quotes and put a comma after between each of the field. When we are, when we we'll, uh, will have finished our uh, right side, we will export that side into a file. I will show you. Okay, so you have to set every header as I did here, and if I go to the detail column we have to convert only the the detail row so uh, the transaction row you don't need to uh, to uh, uh, export the, the the header they will be calculated into the the result uh, the result so uh, if I take the first one the way I built it I take the transaction date and time and I happen a uh, a double quote here be between uh, the field and with the comma at the end and for the, this date and time I use uh, the, the, the text function that transform in my case the AAAMMGG because it's the French version uh, uh, with a comma hour minute second and uh, probably you will you will have to, to use the, the text function with YYYYMMDD if you uh, are in English. So this is the first column. Second column, you must have the the transact the trade type and in uppercase. The next one it's only OPT for option. For assemble, you only take the same thing as uh, Option Net Explorer uh, use the quantity is the same as the quantity and the trade price trade price is exactly the same the commission is always negative underlying symbol you copy the, the value that's that's uh, in the file and the net cash the net cash will depend if you made a buy or a sell uh, because you have to add or subtract uh, the um, the commission. So that's it. When you have uh, built your first line, you can copy everything to the last line, and you can get rid of the the row that you don't need. Delete, delete this this row, and that's it. Now you only have to put this information into a file. I will take all the rows and column, copy this information. I open a notepad, paste, and as you can see, I can let the blank line, doesn't matter. There's a tab here in between each of the field. Uh, when I copy from Excel, it inserted that, but it doesn't matter. Every field is between quotes, so it doesn't take uh, in consideration the, 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 the blank line or everything is working. I will show you. I save this file. I will call it trade uh, to import 
into one dot uh, csv okay now that my file is ready to import i return to optionet explorer uh, I want to show you that in uh, the support tab, if you go to system information, uh, you can see the time zone that you are in. So in my case, I am in, at minus four, UTC minus four. So go to cancel, return to home, import. Import, I choose interactive broker flex query. What I want, to, uh, the reason why I showed you uh, the time zone is because if the exported file has been uh, has been done with the different time zone you have to to choose uh, this time zone for example in my case uh, it's the same but if i'd like to add uh, one hour to uh, to my, my result i, I will choose uh, utc minus five uh, and the same thing uh, if, if i want to 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 have the result one previous hour sometimes you don't know the time zone of the exported file so you can guess it but uh, it's uh, always easier if you know the the time zone that uh, it has been exported so i will choose utc minus four now i choose the account i want to import the trades i choose the file name uh, i think Trade to import into one. That's CSV. Next. Now you have uh, the the all the transactions that we have built. You can see them, but you have to link every transaction into trades. To do this, I use the Excel file that I my export trade that uh, CSV file. Uh, by the way, uh, I recommend to save this file as a uh, as a excel because i want to keep that file so i just change the, the save the file type save as type rather than csv i will choose excel workbook and export to trade.xlx6 that's it now i've uh, i am in the exported trade so i want just want to keep uh, the the pink uh, the pink column and uh, the, the 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 and the the size uh, of the the column. As I said, uh, you have every trade, and I have the name also of the trade. So sometimes I want to keep the same name. In this case, I will copy the first name and the first four um, rows that I want to have is, is the the the. The transaction that have a five in the quantity i i often use the the the, the size because it's it's easier to uh, to uh, separate the trade so i'll link the first one i click on link i i select them with shift click and i choose i choose the name i want to to give them i, I will call it the same name but with a copy at the end and uh, this is a vertical start new trade you can set the profit target if you want to but this one i think it's the it take it takes the same that you um, you have chosen in your setting of the account now that i I've, I've um link the the first trade you can see that the the, the trade id that will be imported will be 1023 in this case the second trade is are the next four so I take the net the four for next. I link them with the same the the name of the second trade. Copy vertical next and the last one link copy this is a butter a butterfly. Now I do next. You are not in the obligation to link every of the trade. You could uh, just make one if you want to. It doesn't matter. You. It will ask you a question, but uh, you uh, 
it, it will ask you if you if you have forgotten some trade but you, you just say no way everything is okay so now i've finished the import trade I, I will see if it works if i do refresh that's it my trade are copied but as you can see there's a slight difference in the uh, uh pnl there's a, a small problem in the in the uh, uh if i watch for example the 22 the 13th of july 22 for this one you can see that everything uh, is pretty the same why <laughs> for example i will open the first rate just to see what what's up with it Okay, if I go to the log, look at the price, it's 0.275, if I open, if I watch the other one, the copy, and I just close this, you can see that the price is 0.28. Is that my file? That's that's bad. Let's see. It oh, it's 0.275. This is the file I've imported, so the the file is good. That means that Optionet Explorer rounds the price. Sometimes it doesn't matter. I don't know if uh, this will give me some problem sometime. But the the the, the SPX, for example, are very the trade price are very large. So uh, uh, I think I. It doesn't matter so much. And that's it. This is the way I export trade from one and import them into one. <laughs> Goodbye.